Hello Sagittarius, welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitia here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So firstly, thank you everyone for your well wishes as well as for your prayers. I am feeling much better now and um, roughly I would say about 90% um, feeling well, 10% still there's some um, room for improvement. So I'm st still feeling a little dizzy, um, but it's not while I'm sitting, it's just when I'm walking, I feel a little um, imbalance there. But uh, it's much better than before, so thank you everyone. You may notice I have a little addition <laughs> to my little setup here. This is my stick. So I've put this here because so many of you, myself included, when I'm adjusting my cards, it just takes forever. So this is why I put it here. <laughs> Plus, I don't have to move my head and keep checking if it's all in the frame. That way you guys are able to see it. All right, first up. Oh my goodness, betrayal. So this is a general love reading. I'm going to be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you are connecting with on a romantic level. What it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. So I'll be looking into that. Of course, this is a general love reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone out there. Um, some parts of this reading might resonate, so definitely that is for you. If there's any other messages, that is meant for someone else for now. So we do have here the deck that I'm using. It is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marshinsky. So you have Betrayal as the first card. After that, you have Hearth and Home. Mm. After Hearth and Home, you have Creativity, followed by the Crossroads card. And after Crossroads, we have Cycles. Oh, wow. Grief. You have made quite an impact on this person, Sagittarius. Awakening. Yep, you've made, made a really big impact. And now this person is starting to awaken. There's an enlightening moment. Oh my God. And they have awoken to wisdom. That is a beautiful combination. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Very nice. Okay. Oh, so not all hope is lost, Sagittarius. Wisdom is a huge thing for someone to become wise and not repeat their mistakes. So here we have betrayal, hearth and home, creativity, crossroads, cycles, grief, ecstasy, awakening, and then we have wisdom under the bottom of the deck. I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you currently, Sagittarius. My dear Sagittarius, I realize I have betrayed you. I have behaved in a way that I shouldn't have. I've behaved like a stranger. All this time you trusted me. And now there's a lack of trust, there's a lack of truth, transparency. And I'm not really sure why I did what I did. I just know that I did it. I was foolish. I was a fool. I realize now that you are someone who I'd really like to learn more about, to be with. I feel that you are already like family. You are sweet and kind, caring and protective. And I feel as though I can confide in you and not fear being judged. I can talk to you about almost anything. 
And what I want to do is create something with you, something that will be long lasting for the world to see. But I am afraid that this web of love that I want to create with you will be very fragile. Emotionally and spiritually, this web of love is very strong. But physically, will it stand the test of time? If there is a storm, if there is an argument, will this web break? Yes, it would. For this reason, I have thought long and hard, and I am now at a crossroads. I really feel that it's time for me to make a decision, once and for all. To make a decision, and to take that path, whether to be with you, to follow you, to chase you, or to not. And the reason why I want to do this is because I'm obsessing over you. I can't stop thinking about you. And I can't stop thinking about the terrible, terrible things I did to you. In front of your face and behind your back. I feel grief. I'm grieving. I feel as though I've lost somebody so precious in my life. I've cherished you. There is this sky and it is very dark. And you are that one person that shines. You are that star that shines so bright. And I feel as though that star is fading. And it was because of me. I turned you into somebody that you originally were not. And I do feel sad. I feel guilty, remorseful. There is regret in my heart. I myself am breaking on the inside because I can't believe what I did to you. I feel this now. I realize this now. And I also realize that there is something very unique about this connection. I feel somehow we are spiritually connected. There is this realization that my soul is happy when I think about you. Not just my body, but my soul. I do believe that you have brought to light and awakened this part of me that was dormant and asleep this entire time. I was asleep all this time. That part of me, that spiritual love, I never realized. And you have enlightened me. I now see things through your eyes, from your perspective. And now, I am wiser. I am not the same person that you knew back then. I am more wiser, more stronger than ever before. I have learned my lesson, and I have learned from my mistakes. And I dare not repeat them, because you are very precious to me. All right, Saj. So it seems like you guys taught this person a lesson. Mm-hmm. A lesson in humanity and love. A lesson about truth. What is real love? You know, it takes time. But it seems like this person really has officially, like, broken. <laughs> you officially broke this person. Um, two cards. Huge. The grief card is a very, very big card. It's the, you know, it's the most saddest card in this entire deck. It's, you know, talks about grief, sadness, 
guilt, remorse, um, the feelings that someone goes through after they have betrayed someone. And the first card's the strongest. First card was betrayal. Okay. I'm going to pull out the Lover's Path Tarot. I'm going to repeat that. The Lover's Path Tarot. And here, let's have a look at if there's any obstacles, any issues that have occurred that perhaps this person has not told you about. One of the main reasons why there was perhaps an issue in the beginning of this connection. Or the reason why things kind of broke down. What is the main reason here? So we have Ace of Coins and the Princess of Staffs. All right. With the Ace of Coins, this talks about there is a desire to reap the fruits of one's labor. However, they don't feel that successful. So what's happening here is that this person thought that they invested a lot in you. Now, some of you may be rolling your eyes. Yeah, right. They didn't even, you know, take me out for a coffee. Um, this person, from their point of view, okay, they thought that they have done enough. They thought that they did a lot for you. This is what they thought. And they were thinking, because I invested so much time and energy in my Sag, I need to get a return on investment. So they were thinking that you're going to go, uh, go above and beyond. Um, I'm not sure how you would have done that. You know, just maybe crawled back to this person. But you know what? This person didn't treat you right. And they were expecting every time they were giving anything to you. That is not selfless love, right? Now, what is one of the main issues? Princess of Staffs is a huge card. Now you're going to see what this person was all about. The Princess of Staffs does talk about important communication that was never really made. Here, one was not listening to things that inspired them, things that were good. They were not listening to that. They were turning a blind eye. They were closing their ears to this. This is Sagittarius, an inexperienced young person who may be very passionate, but not very experienced. So you see here an inexperienced young person. So it doesn't matter your age group. You can be 70 or 60 and still be very immature on the inside because you have not experienced love. And so you were just like a, a big child, um, a big teenager, um, somebody who is not very mature, very flighty, very fickle, very changeable, a player, a player. But now what's happened, remember, this person has awoke and they are awakened now and they are wiser. So this person has changed. But what was the reason what happened before the Princess of Staffs? This person is an inexperienced person who may be very passionate, sexually very passionate, but not very experienced in terms of matters of love and relationship and matters of the heart. They are not experienced. Too much time and energy has been spent on other things and not enough focus on the connection between the both of you. Here it talks about ideas and messages that fizzle out after initial enthusiasm. So this person did get very bored after a while and it's because they were very immature, um, inexperienced. So I've used this analogy before, but it's like a can of pop. When we are opening a can of pop, or if, um, if you're using a bottle and you open the pop, you know, you pour it into the glass um, and we watch it. We love the bubbles. It seems really good. It tastes great. And then what happens after a few hours? Those bubbles start to fade away. You know, they're finished. After a few hours, um, maybe the next day, it's completely flat. And it's no longer exciting. It's no longer tasty anymore. This is exactly what this person felt like. That originally when the both of you were together in the beginning, things were very bubbly and they were exciting and they were just wonderful. But then this person got bored. Why? Because they were only focusing on 
intimacy that was physical. They can get physical intimacy with anybody. But does their heart align with that person? Does their soul align with that person? No. They have now realized, Sagittarius, that their heart, their soul, and their body aligns only with you. They have come to this realization now. And it's taken a long time. They were not like this before. They never realized this before. But this is why you have the Wisdom card. So this is something that happened a while ago. And now is where this individual is. Now they're in a different um, kind of phase in their life. They're not like this. They realized what they've done. All right, here we have the Beginner's Tarot deck. So I'm going to have a look at what, if there are any um, plans, actions, or intentions. Sorry, I'm just taking these cards out that came out. So yes, this person definitely wants judgment. A second chance with you, Sagittarius, and they want it to be clear and transparent. We have people who are resurrecting a second chance. This is a spiritual connection. This individual now wants absolute transparency, meaning everything has to be out on the table. There's no lies. There's no betrayal going forward. This is what they want to give to you because they realized what they did before was absolutely wrong. They realize that now. Okay, you have... No, okay. Let's just... A bunch of cards all right we have here um you remember earlier we had one of the cards that talks about the energies being scattered too much energy being scattered elsewhere it's because their priorities are kind of all over the place this is what this card also talks about two of pentacles so here with the judgment card yes this person wants a second chance with you and they want transparency they want everything to be clear and on the table Nothing being hidden anymore. Why? Because they regret Five of Cups. They regret what they did to you. They regret what they have turned you into. This person who is now a stranger, they don't like what they did and they realize this. And yes, tears have been shed. This person has become very sad. There could have been even um, a little bit of drinking going on as well. We have here the five of swords so this person is now starting to realize that you know what i'm going to completely lose my sagittarius and i better do something about this this person by hook or by crook wants to have you back in their life they are afraid to lose you they do not want to lose you they're too afraid you're too precious and they realize that you know what if there's other competition i'm going to try my best i want to win my sag back here we also have two of pentacles yes they are juggling with many things many situations many responsibilities many people um, and they are juggling and because of the juggling they're not able to focus and give you the attention that you deserve currently because they are basically scattered in many places here we do have the emperor card and often i say with this card this person may love you the way they know how to love but they will not love you the way you want to be loved here this person also wants to provide you with a lot of security a lot of i will take care of you type of scenario um, but they may also be a little more on the dominant side so this person who is very dominant, they only want and they will only gel very well with somebody who is a little submissive, okay? This person, sometimes when they're angry, they may have this attitude, it's my way or the highway. And everybody has a masculine and feminine energy. It's not all the time somebody is submissive. It depends on the, the area of, um, you know, the type of, the type of topic you're talking about, somebody may be dominant in another topic, but then submissive in something else as well. There's many reasons for why people behave the way that they do. 
But this person inherently has this attitude. They are kind of on the, um, a lot of masculine energy here I'm seeing. And you know, it's the ego and the pride that's kicking in with the five of swords as well. There's competition here. They want to be the person that does win you back. They're afraid of losing you. Okay, I have here Doreen Virtue's Archangel Answer Cards. Just going to do a quick prayer. Okay, so these messages are from Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. They are here for your greater good, what it is that they feel that your soul will be happy with eventually. And I believe I just announced that. Sorry, I'm just going to announce it again. So Archangel Michael, Raphael, Gabriel. Sorry if I just announced that again. <laughs> I was a little distracted for a second. Okay. Um, choose a new direction. Big happy changes within the next few months. Okay, yep. And meditation brings answers. Okay. So here, Sagittarius, the angels are telling you that... Something that you have been doing um, has not been working, you know, the strategy. Maybe if you have been reaching out once in a while, waiting for this person to reach out to you. Don't do that anymore. Let go and choose a new direction. Choose a different approach to the situation. Meaning, don't even reach out to this person. They will reach out to you. They are the ones who are now wiser. And they will take their time to come back into your life because they want forgiveness because they really hurt you they pissed you off they were nasty and they want to say sorry okay these are quite a bit of messages here so the angels are saying to choose a new direction so your destination is the same but just choose like I say a new route choose a new road to this particular um, destination that you have you might be repeating certain things so don't choose the same method because you will always get the same result. So choose a different method to get a different result. There will be big happy changes after you choose a new direction. And this is going to occur within the next few months or even within the next year, hopefully within the next few months. But the changes are going to be big. You're going to be happy about it. That's very good. Here, the angels are telling you, there's two cards here. Meditation brings answers. Here in this particular deck, this is an image of yourself, for example. That is a Christ consciousness. That is Jesus. Behind Jesus, you actually have the holy light of the Father, the God. Um, his name is also Jehovah. He has many, many other names um, in the Abrahamic religion as well. Now, we have here, meditation brings answers. So meditation can literally mean praying. It doesn't have to be long meditation. It doesn't have to be long prayer. Um, but the intention, the passion... The determination to actually communicate through your soul, with your mind and your heart, to God. That is the intention. And yes, when you do that, when you, when you tap into your heart and your mind, that is your soul. Your mind contains your soul. On a, on a different dimension it does. There's a, it's connected by a wire, <laughs> a cord. Um, it's kind of like I've been saying these days, like a Wi-Fi connection. You literally can speak in your heart and they do hear. Now, when you do this, when you connect through the Christ consciousness, you can ask your angels. So here they give permission. So they require permission. So we do not worship angels. So we do not actually pray to angels, but we can request. We can give them our love, our respect, and we can request and call upon angels to help us. Here you can call upon Archangel Michael, Raphael and Gabriel through the power of Jesus and Jehovah his father if you have any other names you want to call him sure you can call him that but this is how you can ask your angels and yes you are going to receive answers guys you will receive answers this is you basically changing your frequency to a different level a higher level and talking to yourself and that answer that you get that's not just some random answer that is yourself speaking to you and sometimes it's also angels speaking to you, giving you answers, giving you reassurance. So don't ignore that feeling when you get it. 
Communicate clearly with this individual Sagittarius when you get a chance. Be very clear, very precise, and what you want to tell them. You know, don't beat around the bush. Be very direct. Um, be very, you know, try to be sweet. Um, but do not taunt them. Do not mock. Don't be indirect. Don't be sarcastic. Because you're going to get only a limited period of time to actually get your point across. So be, you know, as truthful and as concise as you can be. They are telling you, don't worry about this connection, okay? There's no need to worry. Forgiveness. This person is going to say sorry to you, Sagittarius. Yay. <laughs> um, and, you know, it's up to you. Will you forgive them? They really are a different person, though. Keep that in mind, okay? They are a different person. They're a better version now of what they were before. They're not going to be the same person. And it's going to be difficult for you to feel this change and to adjust to this. You might even think that this person's acting. They're not acting. Not this time around. Now they've changed. Forgiveness is the key, guys. If you forgive someone, you let go of that negative bubble that's orbiting around your aura, okay? Once you let go of that bubble, that piece of energy is finally gone, and it does relieve you. This is why also... Um, in the religious texts in the Bible, forgiveness is key. Forgive. Why? Because it actually lingers on to you like a piece of energy, like a thread, and it just brings you down. If you can manage to forgive somebody, the person that you love, because this person really has changed, that will make you feel much better too. I know it's hard. Some of you might and some of you might not. It may take some time. It's totally up to you guys. All right, Saj, this was a pretty intense reading. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance in your respective situations. Thank you once again, everyone, for your love, your support, your well wishes, for your prayers. I really felt them. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys again. You take care and stay safe. Bye now.